Hello, my friends. Today, I want to talk to you about something truly important, the things we should never give up for anyone, no matter how much we love or respect them. These are sacred elements of who we are, parts of us that, if sacrificed, would leave us feeling hollow, like a tree stripped of its roots. Each of us deserves to live authentically, and this means recognizing what we must hold onto in order to thrive. As I share this wisdom with you, think of this as a conversation between friends, an exchange of lessons of learned over years of seeking truth and peace. Let's explore these five things together. The first thing you should never sacrifice is your inner peace. In a world that often moves at a relentless pace, peace can feel like a luxury. But let me tell you a story. In the early years of my journey, I was driven by a desire to help others and make a difference. I would take on everyone's burdens, always trying to fix things, to be of service. But eventually, I found myself worn down, constantly anxious, and I could barely hear my own heart over the noise of others' needs. Then one day, my teacher said to me, how can you give peace to others if you yourself are empty of it? This moment changed everything. Peace, I learned, is a state that must be nurtured within before it can be offered outwardly. Never allow someone, even with the best intentions, to rob you of your inner stillness. To lose it is to lose the foundation from which true compassion flows. The second thing is your sense of purpose. I have met many people who feel their purpose is fragile, like it could be overshadowed by the expectations others place on them. I once met a man who wanted deeply to follow his passion for art. But over time, his family pressured him to pursue something more, practical, more profitable. And so, he let go of his dream and followed another path, one that left him feeling empty, as though a part of his spirit had been lost. When he came to me, he asked, why do I feel so disconnected from myself? I told him, you have abandoned your purpose, the unique gift only you can bring to the world. Our purpose is not something we find, it's something we uncover from within. Never give it up. Whether it's art, teaching, writing, or simply a calling to be a better human being, this purpose is sacred. Listen to it. It is yours alone. Thirdly, your core values. This might seem simple, but it's deeply profound. Values are the compass by which we navigate the complexities of life. When we compromise them to please others, we lose our way. I remember a young woman who came to me feeling distressed. She had been raised with strong values of honesty and kindness. But in her workplace, she found herself constantly pressured to act against these values, to compete, to cut corners. Eventually, she felt she didn't recognize herself. I shared with her a saying from my teacher, the world will try to shape you, but only you can decide how you are carved. Values are like a lantern, they may not change the world, but they light our own path. If we abandon them, we wander in darkness. Hold on to your values, for they are what anchor you in a turbulent world. The fourth thing to never sacrifice is your well-being, both mental and physical. In the pursuit of success or in the service of others, it is common to push ourselves to the point of exhaustion, to forget the needs of our own bodies and minds. Many years ago, I myself fell into this trap. I was so focused on my duties that I neglected my own health telling myself it was noble to sacrifice for the benefit of others. One day, my teacher looked at me and said, a weary mind and body cannot carry a heavy heart. I realized that without help, even the greatest intentions would be in vain. Take care of yourself. Rest, nourish, breathe. These are not selfish acts but necessary ones. Your body and mind are your only true home. Lastly, and perhaps most importantly, never sacrifice your sense of self-worth. This is the foundation upon which all other things are built. So many of us allow our sense of worth to be shaped by others' opinions, by achievements, or by meeting certain expectations. But self-worth is not something we earn from others, it is something we discover within ourselves. I once met a young man who, despite all his achievements, felt inadequate. He said to me, no matter what I do, it never feels like enough. I told him, you are not defined by what you do but by who you are. When we understand this, we realize that our worth is inherent, as natural as the earth beneath our feet. It is not something anyone can take from us. So, when the world challenges you, when others try to make you feel small, remember, you are enough, simply as you are. My friends, remember these five things, your inner peace, your purpose, your values, your well-being, and your self-worth. Guard them as you would a precious flame.
In a world that often asks us to give more than we have, these are the treasures that will keep you centered, whole, and true to yourself. And now, I invite you to reflect, which of these do you hold most dear? Share it in the comments below, for it is through sharing our truths that we inspire each other to hold on to what truly matters. Thank you for joining me today. If this message resonated with you, please subscribe to stay connected with more conversations on living mindfully, with intention and peace. And remember, hold on to what is sacred in your heart.